Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode we went out on a few adventures and we tried something new with Sophia again. We tried doing the uh, sort of Death's Door approach. We kind of didn't make it work the way we wanted to but it ended up actually working out alright in the end. And we do have two new people to introduce this time. It's been a little while since we've had any new classes come across but we've had two new ones come in so let's get into the episode and introduce them. Here we are in the Cursed Estate, and our first new class we have here is our Oceanborn Sven, and this is a half boy, half crab sort of class, and it, it looks really cool. He has a lot of thoughts, we might not use him for a little while, but this is Sven and a backstory by T.E.A. Sven was aboard a privateer's ship for the King's Army, apprenticing under his mentor, Amenda and learning how to heal wounds. However, as the powers of those pelagic beasts in the cove grew, the sea became more and more hostile, wrecking the ship and sending Sven into, a hypothermic, into the hypothermic waters. He was going to die, but the sea is home to many things, including spirits and fae. One of the spirits dying, overwhelming by the eldritch power, preventing the waters, found Sven sinking to the sea floor. It inhabited him and brought him to the shore of the ha Hamlet's docks, ensuring the survival of both of them. Sven arrived at the Hamlet, soaking wet, shivering, but alive, and hosting an incorporeal ally. But what would happen if the they were to manifest physically? Ooh, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. T.A. always writing absolutely brilliant backstories there but this is Sven and yes it's gonna be really interesting to play as him he's basically kind of like a tank healer got some really interesting things as you can see here a seven to eight heal like that's incredible <laughs> that's so good and he has like a party heal here as well some very very interesting stuff he's gonna be really really good but let's move on to our next one next up we have our salamander class a rookie and this is one by cell this one I'm very interested in and something that, that this class really interests me about is the fact that we we have the arsonist, the ironclad, and the salamander. They're all fire-based, and it's going to be really cool to try and build a party with them together, and I just think it's going to be so fun having a full, literal fire build, although he is scared of both beasts and, um, and humans, so gonna be difficult but he's got some pretty cool stuff here uh, but yeah let's get into his backstory this is again by cell born in a far-off land a rookie never met her parents she was taken at a young age for her natural gift in pyromancy a highly valued skill in her homeland raised since childhood to believe her nation was the strongest in the world her knack for fire let her rise quickly among the ranks of the military she learned many combat styles and soon became one of her nation's most elite soldiers. However, most learned eventually, she realized how terrible her nation truly was. Villages would be slaughtered just to prove might, and they had all but wiped out almost any competition in her world. Overwhelming by overwhelmed by grief, Araki defeated from her nation and fled defected from her nation and fled into the nearby mountains. After years of being pursued, she was caught and decided uh, a decade of ma uh, martial skills let Akiri stand against near unbeatable odds. But she was only one person versus an army. Days of fighting led her to losing the battle of attrition against the soldiers that began to overwhelm her. It was just before they overran her that the comet streaked through the sky. All fighting ceased and each soul turned in wonder as it let out a thundering shockwave that split reality asunder. With no other option, a rookie dove towards a shimmering bolt of cosmic energy that had been sent out by the comet. In an instant, a rookie uh, being Eriki's being and mind were splintered and torn, then resembling, reassembling and torn once again. Thousands of worlds, universes and days flashed in her mind. It threatened to rip her soul into countless pieces, split across endless locations. But her training let her just barely hold together. Another thundering crack sound and then blackness. A rookie woke up on a hill overlooking an unfamiliar town in a different reality from her own. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is just cells writing yet again, showing just, oh, it's, it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. I know that I butchered it a little bit in parts there because I'm terrible at reading and it was a very long one, but ties into the uh, Close of Madness comet. I just love it. It's so good. She's basically from another dimension that was and, and traveled here. I just, I, I absolutely love it. It's just, it's so good. There's so many cool backstories coming out of this and it just, every every single one of them, Makes me so happy to be doing this with you guys because it's just, it's so fun. 
it's so so fun but yes we are we are ready to go ahead and try out some more missions see what we've got to do we've got quite a few people still at level two definitely um there's a few people that i'm less inclined to use right now mainly red and mars because i don't know i feel like they're very weird classes and i do need to learn how to use them and as people sort of teach me i'm sure we'll get on with those but they're like kind of my two weakest classes right now in terms of like my knowledge um so we're going on a long adventure here uh, this is actually pretty a pretty decent skill here i like this um plus seven speed is insane go on a long adventure here medium and we'll bring some of the level twos around with us so let's um let's bring yatsu here we need sort of a, a semi-movable front line here which would be nice we'll go sixth he can go into the warrens or he kind of wants to go to the wheel but we'll go to the warrens with um with sixth here he can make he can make some stuff work here and he'll be doing his sort of front back line thing that he normally does um i think that he can yeah he can he can move back from anywhere can't he that's fine and who else do we bring here? Octavia could be pretty useful. Um, it's it's difficult. There's, there's a few different things we could do with um, with sixth here. I do like this having having the, the the block be able to be applied, but having having ravenous or a cycle of life is really really nice. I do like cycle of life a lot. We haven't really used that before. Maybe maybe we'll switch over and use Cycle of Life. That could be quite fun. Um, we'll still we'll set up our, our group first and see where we go from that. Um, it would be nice to have someone up front that's fairly movable, but I don't know if we're going to get the chance to do that. Um, do we have some ranged attacks that don't? Unfortunately, all of these attacks here do move us forward, so we can't play around with that as much as we'd want to. Uh... I suppose we can actually. Let's uh, let's just redo your skills. So we'll take Swift Strike, the Prince's Guard, Lightning Strike, and I think we'll take the same skills we had before. Actually, um, we got a, a decent amount of movability here. Although we could do to to take one of these here. Prince's Guard's pretty good though. I don't know. I think I think we can work with this. We'll put Ronaldius up front here, and then we do need a sort of more dedicated healer here. But this is where we kind of gonna kind of have to start taking from the group of level threes here. I don't want to do this too much because I want to level up all of our level twos. But we're, we're literally out of level two healers now. Aaron could come along. He does have a heal, but on a long adventure, I don't know if he could do it. I don't know if he could do it. It would be it would be difficult. I think. Um... Hmm. Oh, it's it's a difficult one to to, to really go for, and I, I don't know if we want to do it. We'd we'd have to use words of power here. Do you know what? We'll we'll try it out. It's a bit risky, but we'll try it out. So one thing that I'm going to do here that I haven't really been doing as of late is I'm going to sort by level and make our way back up to the top again, uh, and just make sure everyone's upgraded before we go. Because I've not really been doing that. And here we go. Um, we've got a lot of upgrades here. Do you know what? We're going to be using everything on you. So I'm just going to take everything there. Um, it's fine. Sixth is looking good. Although we're going to take this. And swap that out for this, I think. Yeah, cycle of life is really interesting. I want to use that a little more if we can. Um, it's very, very fun to use. And then, I think that's everyone, isn't it? Everyone's upgraded. And then let's, let's just check armor on everyone as well. Make sure everyone's armored up. I'm pretty sure everyone is here. Yeah, we're good. And then we can uh, get into trinketing everyone. But I think this is going to be a fun party. I, like, I'm hoping that between these two here, we've got some okay healing. And if we buff Aaron's healing, like, all the way, then we can make some stuff work with Aaron. Uh, so, first of all, we kind of know what's going on you, don't we? We want to get that head. There you go. That head on, on, on there is really, really nice. You, we want... We just want to go full-on stress reduction for you, I think, so we can play around with you a little more. So, we're just going to go double stress reduce. Then, Aaron, you can, you can take the double healing, I think. Because Aaron, unfortunately, we do have uh, this for Aaron here. Um, 
with the plus 40 uh, mark, but we're not really mark synergying him right now, so I don't really think that's that necessary, and I'd rather go for the full-on healing path, uh, which is preferable. Uh, here, we probably want to take... Let's have a little look. We probably want to take something that's going to be... that's going to make you truly amazing. Uh... Hmm. Now nah, we don't we don't want you nerfed on the first round, do we? Uh, you're you're not always going to be in the front, so we've got to think about that. I think for you we go with accuracy and crit. We'll just get that crit up as high as we can, and then here we go. We're going to be fighting. We're in the Warrens here, aren't we? So let's let's have a look. We're, we're going to the Warrens. This one here. Uh, let's have a look at the Warrens and see what would be a best fit here, shall we? I like to take a little bit of time to research this and make sure we're doing the right thing. Uh, so, Warrens, darkest dungeon. We've already we've already checked this plenty of times before, but I like to I like to overdo it and make sure we're checking multiple times. Enemies here, that's fine. Uh, so we've got human beast, human beast, 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 beast. Beast, beast, beast. All of them are beasts. So do we have beast? We do. So we'll take the 25% damage against beast. <laughs> That's really going to help out. And then we could just go with the extra damage here for the reduced speed. Extra damage and crits always a good shout. Um, wait, one second. I did just close that page, didn't I? Um, we do have a good few humans in mixed in with this that are both human and beast do you know what let's just let's just give him the double whammy lowers his dodge a lot but now he's got the extra damage versus human and beast and this is going to set him up nicely and there is a few trinkets that are really good that we're not using like the jar of slime i always like to bring that with someone and i do realize that maybe not taking it isn't the best idea uh, but we should be okay. We do have to realize as well that Sixth is taking on some extra stress here. So that is something we've got to be aware of. But I think this group is going to be pretty darn good. I should hope at least. So let's uh, let's buy some provisions. And we'll, we'll kind of... This is a long mission. So let's go a little bit overboard on provisions, shall we? Um... We can get rid of a few of those. Go down to like 30 on them. And I think we're I think we're good with this. This is this should be a good amount of stuff to bring with us. Uh do you know what? We'll bring a few of these as well, just in case. And this will be good. Let's go ahead and head on in here. And we do have a few diary entries here. Uh we have one which may be edited in the future. I do have to say this because I'm recording this a little earlier than I should be, to be honest. Uh, we have one here from Cell and TA. This is a journal journey and journal entry for Haverad. Uh never thought I'd see a man punch a hole straight through someone's chest. Almost put my cannon to shame. The collector had a bad day today. And indeed he did. He got destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. So yeah, I'm really hoping that this group can can work together really well. Wow. Critical critical scout right off the bat to find the secret room. That is the sort of the sort of stuff we want to see. So we've got to complete 100% of room battles. Let's go up to this one first, because there's no battles along the way. Uh, who's gonna be our trap disarmer? 80, 90, 100. Of course, sixth. Sixth is of course I trap disarmor. Why would I even ask? But this group, I feel, I feel this group is is odd, but in an interesting way because we've got a holy man, we've got Sixth who's been working with Sunasis in tracking the sisters Yatsu here. That uh, I, I I feel that she's a bit of a learner at the moment, and people don't really know much about her. And Ronaldius, he went on the first adventure with the first death of the group, and he's still reeling from that. I think I think that's still that's still hitting him a little harder than he'd like to admit. But he's willing to prove himself. He's willing to. Uh, to get out there and and hopefully show that he he can do it and he is made of some strong stuff. Okay, we do have the ability to clear horror here, I think, if I remember correctly. Let me just check on that. Uh, yeah, we can clear horror here, so that's really nice. It will it will unfortunately reduce speed. That is one thing about this guy being a dedicated healer that isn't great. So let's just go. 
Let's change you over straight away. And go to the Crimson Dance. Nice, 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 nice. A hit to us there. We don't need to do any healing right now. We could mark mark our target and apply one block. That would buff speed and damage versus marked. I think she does have some mark synergy, yeah. If we do this here, look, mark, add some mark and then um, always crit versus marked. So we could do some interesting stuff with that. We could do some interesting stuff with that. Do you know what? That's, that's exactly what we'll do. Let that block. We can try and finish you off. Nice crit there, six. You have been training. It shows. And we will... Do that. Get a stun off. Lovely. But this is going to be a fairly movable group. Fairly movable group. So... At the minute, she's got... No extra stress. All scholar skills are minus 50% right now. So we can do whatever we want here. We'll finish you off. Pushes you to the front. And yeah, we, we hopefully have a group here where everyone can kind of do everything from any spot. Apart from our healer. Our healer does need to stay at the back. And then we'll stealth to the back here. Sets us up for next time. And word of power to finish you off. Seven rounds of that. That's crazy. We should be, actually, we should always be starting off with this. It buffs damage and prop. Really powerful. This is how a life is taken. And we'll do that for you. Gives you more damage. We'll swap back over and weed you out, I think. Yeah, there's the mark look with that blight. And there's the kill. Easy. Interesting. I think this group's going to be really fun. I think this group's going to be really fun. We don't particularly need to go to this room, but we could have a combat in it. So we have to... Uh, sorry, I had to pause there. I had to cough. But yeah, so we do have to try and go to this room just in case. We also have a heal here, which is nice. Um, so I think we do this here. Weed you out. That gives us the mark. Then... Striking you. Another easy critical strike. Absolutely love to see it. Come for the bite on us. No blight applied. We'll buff everyone up straight away. And then we'll apply that to you. Probably not the best to mark people against spiders because they do deal extra damage versus marked. So now we can switch over. And then we can go. Is it trespass? Always crit versus marked. There you go. Nice crit, nice stress relief. Nice cut. Do you know what? Let's just go for another cut. That'll kill you. Great. Yeah, this, this is such a cool group. It's pretty movable, but very, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Wait. Wait a minute. Surely not. No, I was going to say, could you stealth out of combat? That would be crazy if you could prepare stealth out of combat. Okay, yeah, so th this isn't anything. We do have to fight on the way back. That's not a problem, though. We've not had to heal yet, which is good for us, really. So I think we start off with, like... I want to start off with a weed out, but I actually think it's more prevalent for us to start off with the Crimson Dance, because it hits two things. It moves everyone around, and it sets up a bleed. I think it's super powerful. Um, we'll just get a quick heal on you for five. We'll lower our speed a little bit. Uh, and then we'll finish you off. You'll die to bleed, so I don't, wanna, I'm not, I don't need to finish you. Let's stun you. Nice. It's just, it's just such a cool group. It's just, it really is, it's such a cool group. You got stunned. You get a cut on you. That even applies a bleed. Very nice. We apply stealth the next time if we need it. Probably won't though. Crimson Dance is going to hit both of you, so I'm going to I'm going to actually start off with that. There you go. 
crazy. And, and the thing is as well, like, although we are in a situation here, do you know, we'll get rid of that. Uh, do you know, we are in a situation here where we're taking on more stress than normal, but our stress has honestly been relatively easy to manage, which is really surprising and very, very nice to see. I like easy to manage stress. Something we didn't check here is we didn't have a little look at our camping skills. Um, prevent nice and ambush, that's all I need to know. All I need to know is do we have a prevent nice and ambush, and we do. So we're in a, we're in a decent spot for that. Led down and around here. We'll probably camp around here after this one. Actually, no, we'll camp here when we get all the way around this square. And another battle here. Brig and Treasurer. Hopefully, we can start off this well. I'm going to weed him out just to get that Blight on him. I know that the Blight doesn't matter too much for him. Uh, let's hit him with that. Let's do that. It's going to hurt him and stun him. That's exactly what we want. There you go. He's dead. And you can get through stealth, so you might as well go for him. A shank coming in here. That's a heavy shank. That is a heavy shank. Blanket fire hits us. Do you know what? We'll, uh, we'll heal, our, heal ourselves up here, because that's, that's pretty bad. We'll finish you off. Move our way back. I love six. Six is such a fun class. Wow, everyone's going for you right now. Everyone. That's okay, though. We, we're prepared. So let's apply some restoration here. Get a bit of stress relief on there as well. And then we'll also do some more healing there. And that should set you up for a good amount of healing here. Um, cut you down. Right. And we'll do corpse bud here. Very interesting. Something we haven't actually been able to see yet. Heal you up again. Oh, nice hit. The corpse bloom can do a lot of things here. Like entangle. Lower its dodge. I'm gonna do this. Give us a bit of stress, but he, you need the healing. Ronaldus needs the healing. And we can switch over. Do trespass there. And that should be it. Nice. And we got ourselves uh, a trinket here as well. Um, this is from the treasure, I think. Yeah, uh, let's get rid of a few bits and bobs, shall we? We can get rid of that. Do you know what? We can get rid of that as well. And... Plus 8 accuracy, plus 20 move skill chance. I kind of want that. I think that's pretty good. We're going to lose out on a lot of stuff here. Do you know what? I'm just going to get rid of the citrine. It's a tiny bit of money. I don't really want to lose out on a trinket here for that. We've also got crests that we kind of need as well. Getting rid of the jade. I don't like getting rid of money things because we do need money, but at the same time, things like that are more important for future improvement, especially considering we just spent like everything we have. Also, I didn't rearrange our group. That's bad. You can go there. Get a nice hit on you. Start off with that on you and we'll go for, for you next if we can. Nice amount of blight. I love the amount of blight it sets up. It's great. It's so much blight. And getting that mark synergy popping off is great as well. Set up everyone for a bit of that protection and damage. The prot's probably more important than the damages. Um, right. Let's have a little look. See what we want to do here. Let's set you up. It's, a, it's a quite a long... It's like a three-turn setup. But I, I can imagine for bosses it would be insane. I'm still going to go Feral Cuts on you. want to get you dealt with as quickly as possible here. We'll switch over here and then go with... Trespass for that guaranteed crit insta-kill. And Aaron's the only one here that's really feeling the effects of the stress. And we, we, don't, we can't use this because we keep not leaving bodies. There you go. Get that going. Still want to kill you, and we did indeed... Bit of a hit there, but not too bad. This comes in and kills you easily. Bird of Prey takes on the the spirit. Um, this I didn't realize as well, this armor pierces. This is a really good move. Let's try and relieve some of Aaron's stress next turn if we can. Heal you up a bit. We can even guard you for a repost here. We haven't been using his repost at all, really. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's look at some stress relief, shall we? So, stress minus 10. Oh, we can only use this from the from behind, like the second position, which isn't great. We'll just do this and set up for the kill. 
<laughs> is actually the kill. Yeah, you're dead. You are very dead. Yeah, we definitely need to make room for the jades. We're going to get a lot of them. Get rid of the bandages. I should have used a bandage on you, to be fair, but don't worry about it. It's trapped. That's fine. We resisted. Lots of battles. Lots of curios. Lots and lots. We've got a battle here as well. Also, this guy has got... Reacts with special skills. 33% uh, bleed amount received. Okay. Interesting. We're not going to blight or bleed him, though, nonetheless. Try not to, at least. Do you know what? Let's let's set up the Bramble here. Get the Repurse going. Do you know what? We'll do a double Repurse this time around. We'll just set up a lot of Repurse everywhere. That hurt. That hurt a lot. So we're going to set up a guard on you with the Repurse there. Okay, we're going to need a, we're gonna need a lot of healing here. So let's uh, set this up. That is exactly what we needed, Aaron. Thank you very much. Love that. Do you know what? I said I wasn't going to... Ah, I can't anyways, man. I'll just use this. <laughs> I was going to just use the uh, the Crimson Dance, but I can only use that from position two. Should be fine here. We can't, we can't corpse when we want anything. It only works on corpses. So, from this position... It, not great. We should just move back. Get our stealth set up. There you go. That'll heal you up to almost full. I think we're doing good there. And that's the kill. You're, you're down a bit of health here. More repost going on here. Love it. Finish you off because you can be very annoying. Let's get a few more heals out there if we get the chance. Nope, we do not. Citrine don't really care about. It's pretty... Got Not got much to it, so we're fine about that. And here we have one of these guys. These guys look more threatening than they actually are. Again, I'm going to set up a post early here. I think it's worthwhile. We definitely need to find a way to de-stress you. Um, let's just get a feral cut on you and get you to the back. For that double action. That is beautiful. Uh, I think we're going to go for a stun on you. Nice, nice. Aaron, uh, you can go for a heal here. It's only light healing, but it, it, it definitely helps. I don't know what this thing thing does when it eats things. I've never seen it kill anything with that. We'll go for the attack there. And then... From the position you're in, can you Crimson Dance? No, you cannot. There's not much point in doing that then, is there? Let's just go for a weed out on you. And a strike. Nice hit. It's going for Aaron, but again, a miss. We're getting really lucky with these misses right now. Uh, we'll add a block to you. Being able to add blocks in general is just really powerful. That was a hard, hard hit there. was not expecting that. Wow. Okay, we're going to have to be careful here. That was, that was a hit that I really was not expecting. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is just switch over and try and finish him off. Because he's marked. Didn't, didn't quite get it. Really, really don't want him taking any more damage here. A crit here, Aaron, would be very timely. Yes, another dodge with the repose damage too. Loving it. Um, take that. So much stuff today. So much stuff. Right, we got one more battle here. Spiders should be fine. You're, you're pre-stealthed as well, so this is an insta-kill. An insta-kill. Nice one, Sixth. We're going to try and de-stress you a little bit. Your stress is getting a little bit high. You don't really need the healing. Oh, there's the crit I was talking about. Thank you, Aaron. As I said, very timely. There's the stun as well. Coming in with a bite. A little bit of blight on us here. But like I said, it's a little bit... Nothing too much. And we're not going to set up here. We're just going to go for the kill. And we even got it. Thanks for the crit there, Sixth. God damn, he knows his way around these creatures. Knows their weak points. Knows where to stick the blade. Right, so we're going to go for a camp here. Uh, we've got plenty of food. We can take the eight. 
So let's just check everyone's prevent nighttime ambush. No. We've, do we have prevent nighttime ambush on? If, we have literally prevent nighttime ambush on everyone. This one produces a totem. Ooh, uh, all companions remove disease. We've got to remember about this. We need to bring sixth out with some of our diseased party members more often. I don't think we have it. No, we, we don't have any diseases, so that's not a problem. Uh, let's go with this. Then let's have a look what else we got here. So you can take self only extra crit. Um, minus 45% stress. That's fine. Uh, extra dodge and prot with torch above. That's really good. All companions gain extra speed and accuracy for four battles. That's really good. Scouting chance. Search for herbs. Search for food. I think we go with... With this. And we do... Actually, do we do that? No, I don't think we do, actually. Wait, did it just use that? I did not mean to use that. Ugh. Whoopsie. Oh, well, that, that worked fine. Didn't mean to use that, but whatever. Right. Now we've got a secret room here. Probably have to throw quite a lot away here to get whatever's in that secret room. Let's hope for an, a genuine, actual trinket this time. Oh, we got one as well. Yes. Okay, so we've got two of these, which we can trade for our herbs. And we finally got a head. This is plus 20% dura uh, restoration amount applied, plus 50% restoration duration applied, minus 20 stress healing received, and plus 20 stress. Pretty good all in all. And do you know what? As much as keys are good, I'm going to take it for our keys. There's certainly more stuff we could get from our keys, but I don't, I don't really worry too much about that. Scouting again here. Perfect time to get it. Okay, so we got room battle here. Go for this. We, we, we're not going to be able to pick up a lot of things now, which is unfortunate. But we can deal with it. I'll just try and get through all the room battles we can. Right. Uh, I'm going to switch over and start off with our Crimson Lance here. Crimson Dance, even. Crimson Dance is too good to be true. Just does so much damage, and moving everyone about like that is so powerful. A little bit of stress coming in for everyone here. Um, word of power on you to try and finish you off. That will now finish you off. Great. Get a bit of extra damage on you. Try and hope for that bleed to finish you off. Not quite. Unfortunately, even you with one HP, letting you get one attack in there. But we resisted the bleed, so it's not a problem. We'll buff everyone up here. Nice one there, Ronaldus. Crimson. Again. This, this means everyone's dead next turn. Apart from you. Do you know what? No, everyone is dead. Awesome. That was great. That was so great. Everything's dead. Oh, okay, I was like, what, what's it what's it want me to do? I've got to use my second move before combat ends, don't I? Gotta actually finish my turn. Um Question is, do we want to go to all these curios? I mean, we don't really need to because we can't open the vast majority of them anymore. So I, I feel like we're just taunting ourselves at that point. We shouldn't dwell on that too much. Obviously, there's some that don't require anything to open, but there's a lot that do require things to open. We don't really want to have to mess around with those. Right. Uh, again. Oh, no, no, we can't. We're in the wrong position. Let's just go with a weed out on back line here. And get you. Try and get you dead. Definitely get you dead. Oh, shame. Didn't quite. And we'll go for the impale on you, actually, with a stun. I really like getting that stun off early. Considering that can deal so much damage when chained together with his other skills, that is, like, definitely his best skill, the lightning strike. Okay, we're going to take a bit of bleed here. Or not. Or not. Finish you. Very nice. We can't hit you there, so let's pull you to the back. We can maybe Corpse Bloom here, quite possibly. Ooh, that's a lot of stress coming in here. But that's a crit to reduce that stress nicely. And I think 
We want to reduce your stress a little more. Get it down to a more acceptable level here. And do you know what? We're going to use this for the first time. Just get a bit more stress healing going on. Ow. That did hurt. But he, is, he does have restoration, so the damage doesn't actually matter that much. We're in a bad spot here, though. Um... Let's just de-stress here. We can do we can do the rest of the damage with Renaldius. 19. Nice strike. I, I could have gone for him to reduce the amount of stress income in here. But I took an executive decision. It did not play off. Nice miss. Again, we're going to go for stress reduction here. It's just too good to be true. Basically, we're trading stress out. Mind rot. Not what I want to see. Not what I want to see. Let's check out... Ooh, nice crit. Let's check out what this mind rot's doing for us, shall we? I'm sure it's nothing nice. Minus 3 speed, minus 10 dodge, prone to mindless meandering. Well, that's very annoying right now, but do not worry about it, because if we remember just a moment ago... Remove disease. We've got another ability to camp here, so we can actually take that and go and remove some diseases here. So that's exactly what we'll do. Lots of hunger check. Glad we brought all this food. Yeah, the mindless meandering, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but even just the stats that it's reducing is, is very annoying on its own. So that's enough for me to want to get rid of it. I love getting down to zero stress just off of trap disarms. Had a lot of combat this time around. A lot of combat. Uh... We'll definitely switch over and go for a Crimson Dan straight off the bat, I think. I know that it bleeds this guy and he gains extra attacks when he's bleeding. Or extra abilities when he's bleeding. But we're just going to try and kill him straight away. We're going to take on some stress this time. Because our backline isn't the best. He did resist, resist the stun there. I was expecting that to kill him, to be honest. There you go. He's dead. Focus all of our attention on him just to make sure he's dead. You go down to bleed anyways. Yeah, we are taking on more stress than we'd like, admittedly. But we can deal with it. Bleed, yeah, a little bit of bleed there for us. We'll take on a little bit more stress relief here. I'm going to transform and do some more stress relief. Even if the healing isn't required, the stress relief is very nice. Can we kill you? With a crit, we can. Ah, oh, no crit. <laughs> I had to try it. His crit is so high. The common cold. Okay, that's fine. Common cold isn't actually that bad. No, the dodge. There's the crit we needed before. And there's another one. Back to back. Burn altar. Rearrange everyone. Get back over here and we'll do another camp. Another hun hunger check. Okay. Camping again. So I think yet again we're going to go with this guy's uh, prevent nighttime ambush because it's cheap and easy. Then we go with this here. Remove that diseases there that we need to remove. I don't think it removed Aaron's disease, unfortunately. Is re is really a shame. Uh, then we'll go with this here, and there you go. I think that went pretty well. Managed to get rid of that disease early. And common cold, yeah, unfortunately you still took on the common cold. And you still have a Anuni, Anuni, which is fine, to be honest. Virtue chance is only bad if you're hitting the stress levels. And I, I really think that that only reliably happens late game. So... For right now, we're in a we're in a pretty good state, I think. We're in a pretty good place. Got another one of these centaur guys. Um, I think we I think we switch over now and try and take out these two first, even if it does mean oh he's a size two, isn't he? Of course it'll hit him. That was kind of stupid of me, but that's fine. We're going to focus all of our uh, attention on him. We can reduce stress. Stress isn't a problem. Uh, we're going to guard you as well because you're pretty squishy. Pretty squishy. Nice. And that repost is going to be so, so good. 
Does it even apply a block to you as well? Nice cuts. And we'll slink our way back. Okay, a bit more stress coming in here. Again, a dodge. Wow, I'm loving this. And then you are dead. Good. Big enemy out the way with... We'll finish you off again with a crit. Nice. Wasn't expecting that, but I do love to see it. We get that siphon, but it was a complete whiff. A complete whiff. You can use this to get rid of some corpses. Gives a little bit more stress reduction. Fortunately, it means no corpse bloom now, but this guy isn't bleeding anymore, so that's good. Trespass there hits him hard. And then Ronaldus. Ronaldus will finish him off quite easily here. Well, for to see. And that should be the mission over. Indeed it is. Return to Hamlet. That was a very successful mission. And I am super, super down with um, with the trinket we got there. We got 35,000 from that. My god. Um, has severe mood swings. Not great. Man, of speed of torture above 75. Also not great, but them three guys are all leveled up now. Um, we do have a salamander here as well. Let's just give a little check on who we can take on here. I don't think any of them are level 2. Let me just check on that and make sure. Um, yeah, we don't have any level 2s of them guys, so that's unfortunate. Oh, wait, no, I think... Is Dai a pit fighter? Yeah, Dai is a pit fighter. Okay, we can level up Dai at least. Um, just make sure he's the right colour. Yeah, there you go. Dai's level 3, we've leveled him up. And we'll get rid of old Dai. There you go. I love I love getting that. And as you can see, our money is getting to the point of, of like being really high now. And it may seem like that's like kind of ridiculous, but look at how many people we have that are level 3 with only level 3 gear. A whole hell of a lot. We're still we're gonna keep saving our money until basically we use people. Oh my god, really bad trinkets this time around. Um just because I think it's better to save it so we keep getting more money from the bank, but that money will go very quickly. Either way, I've, uh, this has been a really good episode. I think we have one more diary entry, this one I wrote for Sabrina the Falconeer. Ventured out into the curve today. I've not been out much for the fear that my past will still follow me. For all the beasts down there in the dungeons, my past still haunts me, and I can't risk the others taking the fall for my past failings. She's referring to the... Uh, the people that were after her the last time it were the camping missions that she gets. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It's been another good one, and I will see you guys in the next one.